Designing a solar system can be a daunting task. Whether you're new to solar or you're an experienced installer, um, it can be difficult to figure out which equipment is compatible for your specific application. Uh, here at NAS Solar Electric, we've curated a variety of kits for different applications to make this design process easier. Uh, my name is Matt. I'm a solar applications engineer here at NAS Solar Electric. And today I'm gonna help you plug into solar by discussing our different kits and their applications. The main purpose of our kits are to act as a resource for our customers. If you are new to solar, the kits can be an excellent way to learn about the different types of applications you can use solar for, whether it be a grid tie kit or an off-grid kit or even an EV charging kit. Uh, if you're more experienced with solar, say an installer, uh, the kits can be a good way to get a list of compatible equipment for your specific application. So say you're looking for a 10 kilowatt grid tie kit, um, well then you can, or a 10 kilowatt grid tie system, um, you can look at our 10 kilowatt grid tie kit and it will have compatible panels and compatible inverter um, to meet that specific application. Uh, these Kits are designed by personnel like myself and the rest of our engineering team here at NAS. Um, when we design the systems, we use one compatible equipment for the application. So for a grid tie system, we're going to use a grid tie inverter. Um, for an off-grid system, we're gonna use a multimodal inverter with appropriate battery backup. Um, and then when we design these systems, we size everything accordingly. So we're gonna size the array appropriately for the appropriately for the inverter we're using, appropriately for the battery banks we're using. Um, and then with these kits, we'll include wiring and appropriate over current protection devices and so on. And this is to make it so if you do get a kit, um, the installation process is as seamless as possible. Uh, now with that being said, here at NAS Solar Electric, we prefer a more hands-on approach. Rarely am I going to talk to a customer and then tell them to go buy a kit online. Um, rather, we're going to use the kit as a resource um, and kind of build off that based on the customer's specific application. Um, so depending on what you're looking to do, we'll start maybe with a grid tie kit or off-grid kit and then we'll adjust panel quantity, mounting, um, various hardware to meet your specific needs. All right, so let's get into the different types of kits we offer. Um, on our website, um, to find the kits, uh, you'll go under the products tab and the kits are listed under sol solar panel system kits. Um, so let's start with these grid tie solar kits. So when you pull up um, one of the kits pages, um, there will be an option to filter the kits based on a variety of criteria on the left side. So we can filter on price, um, the inverter brand, so if you're looking for a specific inverter, um, inverter type, um, and then the solar generating capacity. So let's go ahead and let's filter, filter based off the solar generating capacity. Let's do five kilowatts to 10 kilowatts. Um, now, before I delve into these kits, I wanna talk a little bit about the specific application uh, that is grid tie. So grid tie applications um, are ones where we're gonna take energy produced from solar and we're gonna use that energy to offset our loads and we're gonna use it to power appliances and any excess energy that's produced from the solar array is then going to be sold back to the grid. For these grid tie systems, uh, you will have to have an inner tie agreement or a net metering agreement with your utility. Um, this is essentially a contract saying what the utility is gonna give you for your sold back uh, solar energy. Um, utility might pay you back in money, although this is pretty rare nowadays. Um, the more likely scenario is they're gonna pay you back in energy. Um, some energy companies will do this one-to-one. -one. So for every kilowatt hour of energy you sell back, they'll pay you back um, in kilowatt hour of energy. And some are worse, like one to, to half. So for every one kilowatt you sell back, you, you only get half a kilowatt hour in return. All right, so that's how these um, systems work. The main components for these systems, we're gonna have our solar panels which are gonna produce the power for the system and we're gonna have our inverters, which are gonna convert the DC energy produced from the panels and convert it to AC, which can be used by your appliances and be sold back to the grid. 
All right, so let's go into this first kit here. This is a grid tie kit with a string inverter. Um, the first thing that I want to note on this kit, and this is true for all of our kits, at the top of the kit, we will have a product description that gives a brief description for what this kit is used for and what you can expect to get out of it. Below this description, we have our list of materials. Um, now this list of materials is going to include the main components that I mentioned earlier. It's going to have the panels and the inverters, and then it's going to have supplementary parts that will help with your installation. So let's go through these real quick. Um, first off, we have 16 420 watt modules. Um, these are going to be our solar panels in the system. Um, something that's nice about all of our kits is all the parts listed will have hyperlinks so that you can um, click on the link to learn more about the product. So let's click on this panel link and it brings us to the solar panel. And then we have a ton of information about the panel if you want to learn more about any of the specific parts. Okay, let's go back to the kit. So we have um, 16 solar modules here. Um, and then we have some cable management clips. We have rapid shutdown. Rapid shutdown is something that you'll need if you're doing a roof mount array. Um, and this is to meet the National Electric Code requirements for rapid shutdown. It's so that fire crews can go onto your roof um, if they need to. Um, and they don't have to worry about having high voltage lines um, that they have a potential to cut through. Um, so. Um, we have rapid shutdown modules on our grid tie kits. Now say you were doing a ground mount grid tie kit, you wouldn't need these. So that's one um, iteration that might need to be done for your specific application. Um, so we have rapid shutdown, then we have wires to get from the array to like a rooftop junction box. And then off of the rooftop junction box, you would then run like AC indoor wiring like Romex or, or something to get the energy from the roof down to your main electrical panel. Um, and then we have our inverter, the 5,000 watt grid tie inverter by Goodweave. Um, our AC disconnect, so this is a way that you can easily disconnect all power to, or all power from your um, grid tie system. Um, and then a couple additional tools, a de uh, PV disconnect tool. This can be used to easily make and dis disconnect your PV connections. And then lastly, we have a sticker set. Um, which is going to be required if you're getting this approved by your AHJ, um, which you likely will need to. Um, and this is just so that everything's properly labeled. So we have two main components to this kit, really just the panels and the inverter, and then everything else are supplement supplementary parts that you'll likely need um, and will make the installation a lot easier. Now something else that I want to note on this page, if we look to the right, we have a related products section. Now this is important. We don't include everything on our kits. Um, one example of this is we don't have mounting hardware on this, and that's because there's a hundred different ways to mount solar panels. Um, so if we look at the related products, we actually have three different mounting solutions here. We have a ground mount solution, a roof mount solution, and even a ground mount solution where you just mount them essentially on buckets. Um, we also have a rooftop junction box. So these are products that can be very useful and can be used um, for the, the kit that we're referencing. And this will be on all the different kits that we're gonna talk about today. All right, so that was um, one example of a grid tie kit. There's one more grid tie kit that I wanna talk about, um, and it utilizes micro inverters rather than a string inverter. Um, so let's go back, let's go back to the grid tie kits, um, and let's focus on this kit. So this micro inverter kit is gonna function identical to um, the kit that we just looked at, it's going to take DC energy from the panels, convert it to AC, and sell back to the grid. Um, however, we don't have one large inverter that we're using called a string inverter. Rather, we're using micro inverters, which actually mount on the underside of the panels. Um, so this kit has two main components, similar to the last one. We have solar panels, um, and then we have micro inverters. So if we scroll down, we have our solar panels, we have our micro inverters, and then all of these are supplementary parts to help integrate the microinverters into your system. Um, very similar concept. All right, the next type of kit we're gonna focus on are going to be off-grid kits. Now these are gonna be um, used in scenarios where maybe you're super remote and you don't have access to the grid. Maybe you've gotten a quote from the utility on what it would cost to get um, grid power out to you and maybe that's upwards of 300 to $400,000. Um, and you wanna, rather than pay that, 
um, have a system that's self-sustaining with solar um, and batteries. So let's go ahead, let's go to these off-grid kits. Now, the main components in these kits, we're gonna have our solar panels, we're going to have a grid forming inverter. So since we're not gonna have the grid available, we need an inverter that's capable of producing its own 120, 240 volt sine wave. Um, so we're gonna need an inverter that's capable of that, and we're gonna need battery backup. Um, so we're, we need batteries so that we can um, power your system when um, there's no solar production, say at night or maybe um, cloudy days. Um, so we'll need some form of energy storage for this system as well. All right, so let's um, go to the off-grid kits. Let's scroll down. Let's go to this kit. So here we have um, a off-grid kit uh, that includes panels, inverter, and batteries. Um, so if we look at it, we have the a description of the system and then we have a list of materials. Um, so this system has 16 solar modules as well. Um, and then the other main components, we're gonna have um, a multimodal inverter or grid forming inverter. In this case, we're using the Solark. And then for battery backup here, um, we have our Pites batteries. Now, I mentioned earlier that we design these systems with compatible components. Um, so for this system, um, the Solark and Pites batteries are work great with each other. Um, they have something called closed loop communication, meaning that the battery BMS in the Pites batteries are capable of talking with the solar converter. And this means that the, pipe, the Pites batteries can tell the solar converter how they want to be charged and discharged, which means you have incredibly efficient charging um, and you have really good data monitoring on the solar. Um, so um, very compatible battery and inverters here. Um, if we go back to this, all of these are um, supplementary parts similar to what we looked with um, on the grid tie system. Now these types of systems don't have to be used only in off-grid scenarios. Um, the system can actually be a grid interactive, um, multimodal, or hybrid system, meaning that um, we can install the Solark on a, a home that has the grid available and the Solark will um, be able to properly manage your solar energy and your battery energy and um, your your utility energy, energy from, from the grid. Um, we actually have a video about the different case scenarios that you can use this for. We'll link that below. Um, but to go a little in depth into it, you can set it up for um, net zero or, or self-consumption, where we essentially have a system that's not exporting excess power to the grid. Um, we have solar that's being produced, that's being used to charge your batteries and is being used to offset your load. And if we ever have a scenario where your load's consuming more than what we're producing with solar energy, then we can use the grid as a backup form of power. Or say we have a spell of cloudy days um, and we're not getting any solar production, you can use the grid to charge the batteries up and, and feed the loads. Um, but you can set it up so that you're not exporting power, um, so you don't need an intertie agreement with utility. Um, another mode that you can use this for is in a mode called arbitraging, where this, this would apply if you have a time of use um, rate plan with your utility, meaning that during non-peak hours you pay less for a unit of energy or for a kilowatt hour, and during peak hours, say 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., um, you pay more. Um, what you can do is you can actually charge the batteries with the utility or with solar during non-peak hours, and then during those peak hours, you can make it, you can program the system so that you're only utilizing battery energy, um, so they're, that we're not pulling energy from the grid um, when it's more expensive. Um, and what's cool about this type of system is you can do that without solar panels. You can just have batteries and a multimodal um, inverter, and you can program it so that we charge the batteries during non-peak hours and discharge the batteries during peak hours. No solar charging. And with this alone, um, depending on your time of use rates, you could save anywhere from 50 to 80% on your utility bill. Um, so it's a pretty cool um, application. There's a lot of case scenarios where you can use these types of off-grid kits where we have panels, a multimodal inverter, and batteries. Although our kits aren't a one-size-fits-all solution, um, they are an excellent resource. They'll provide you with a list of materials that are compatible for your specific application. Uh, we often design around the kits um, for our custom designs. Um, so for instance, if you called in and you were looking for a grid tie application, 
then depending on where you're located and where you're mounting the panels, then we would adjust quantities um, and advise on mounting from there, but we're still gonna use the kit as a baseline. If you have any questions about the kits or you wanna know what needs to be done to have a, a design that meets your specific criteria, uh, we offer free design and consultation. Um, so you can give us a call. Um, we can talk about your application and, and design a system free of cost. And then if you purchase the system from us, we'll support the system throughout the lifetime of the equipment. So that could be when you're installing it. If you have questions, you can give us a call. If, when you're commissioning the system, uh, you can reach out and um, any point through the lifetime of the equipment, if you need help troubleshooting um, or any technical support, then you can give us a call and, and we can walk through um, what's going on. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe for more educational content like this. Uh, also check out the Learning Center on our website. We post a ton of awesome solar related articles there. Um, if you have any questions about anything I discussed today, you can put them in the comment section below. You can reach out to us via um, phone, email, or online chat. Um, we're ready and willing to help you plug into solar.